Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. Today I want to talk about a mistake that I see people making when their ex contacts them. So I'm going to read a comment and then go from there. After no contact for a month, he contacted me saying he missed me so much and wants to get back with me. The next day he didn't answer my calls or texts. I got mad and sent him voicemails and texts telling him I will never talk to him again and I will stay far, far away from him and I don't care what he thinks. (laughs) To this day, he has not responded. I haven't contacted him either. As far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Well, here's the thing. You can't assume that just because your ex contacts you that they want to get back together, even (laughs) if they say they want to get back together. I know it's messed up. Because maybe they're just having a weak moment. Maybe they just missed you. And that's how they felt at that moment. So they reached out. But they have to show you through their actions that they want to get back together. And you can't reach out to them for at least the first 30 days. They're on probation. So they need to prove to you that they do want you back. Otherwise, if you take them back just like that then you're basically saying, hey, you can do whatever you want with me. You can break up with me. And as soon as you contact me, I'll take you back right away. I'm a little doormat. Step all over me. (laughs) That's the message you're sending. It shouldn't be that easy to get back with you. They need to prove to you that you should take them back and that they really do want you back. And also... The big mistake that this person made was immediately starting to text them. That's why I said you cannot do anything. You cannot reach out for at least 30 days. So if they had just left him alone, then he would have shown how interested he was in getting back with her. But she started texting him right away. And then he thought, hmm, well, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I don't want to get back with her. And then, of course, (laughs) by then getting angry and saying, I never want to speak to you again, she reassured him that yes, he had made the right decision and yes, he should not get back with her. So she caused her second chance to go down the drain by being so anxious and trying to rush it and getting angry when he didn't respond to her text. So don't text your ex or call him after they reach out to you. Let them show you that they really want you. And definitely don't send angry texts or messages if you did reach out and they don't respond. All you can do is go back to no contact. And if they contact you in the first 30 days or so that you're doing no contact, don't feel obligated to respond. They might just be, again, missing you, but not necessarily want to get back with you because you haven't done no contact long enough. But if you wait a good 30 days, then at least they've had time to miss you even more. And if you've ignored their calls, even better, because now they're even more anxious because they're wondering if you're ever going to return their calls or texts. You have to have strategy. You can't just react. It doesn't work. It almost always backfires. So when you hear from your ex, be calm. Let them make all the moves don't initiate texting or calling. If you have any questions or comments or you are interested in private coaching, you can contact me at my website, theartoflove.net. If you're listening to this on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. If you're listening on YouTube, thank you for subscribing. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.